All right, we're back. We got ourselves a package today. And this here, I've been waiting a little bit for this one. Uh, this was like the first thing I ordered, like just a day or two after I got my crawler, which seems like I've had for months now. And this, uh, this took a journey. This took a journey from a long, long ways away. Some would say it was on a slow boat. I don't know if it was actually on a slow boat. I think it was actually flown, but like they must have flown the plane backwards and in slow motion. Let's see what we got. I'm kind of excited because there's some cool stuff in here. Uh, there's also some stuff that I have since realized. Let's go for a zoom. Oop, double zoomed. Come on. That I've since realized isn't probably going to work very good for me. How about that? Got some Injora, Injora rubber for the old crawler here on the spinner. Oh, wait. Man, I'm in and out. Am I getting it? With a spinner? <laughs> let's, 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 let's take a look at these. So these are going to be okay, I think. And what these are are... Oh yeah, that's gonna look all right. These are, uh, how do you describe them? What, they got a word for them? Just enjoy them. These are the uh, Rock Tire Super Swampers. They're the clones of one of the better type of tires on the market. I watched some videos when I was first getting into the, my crawler and these were like, these are the ones, get these. So I was like, all right, I'm getting those. And then watch some more videos. And I don't know if I'd still do these, but it's done. This is what I'm excited about. Very exciting. Very, very, very exciting. Oh. Rims. Another little package here. Well, let's, let's break these rims out. Let's take a look at one of these rims. <laughs> I'm pretty pumped about this. If these work out, this is going to be pretty cool. Wow, those are small. Those are way small compared to those. So they're bead locks. Ooh, it's got a back spacer too. It's them. Man, those are heavy. Three three pieces. So it's a true bead lock. It doesn't it doesn't bolt on like a true bead lock around the whole thing, but I decided to go with this color scheme because they kind of look. Except for, look how small they are. My God. Ha, huh, that's interesting. So we've got bead locks to replace those. Only problem is I'm pretty happy with those tires now. So I mean, it's just, I got options now. I got options. This is where it gets interesting. Because these don't have, I don't know what you call them, caps? So I got these little caps to go on them. And I don't know if it's going to be right. Like I was, I had convinced myself at the time when I ordered these, this is exactly what I needed. And now I'm not so sure. So the way it works is I think like, yeah, there's a little nut inside this thing. And if I'm lucky, that will screw into my spindle on my axle. And then that's threaded, and then this is a cap that screws on. So when I'm done, I should have something approximating a kind of cool four-wheel four drive oops, axle looking. Man, I can't believe it go. It should look like that when it's done. Can you see that? That's the look I'm going for. 
And it was a little more to do it this way, but sometimes when you're in Rome, you do as the Romans do. Next thing is this, and I don't think this is even going to work for me because after I ordered it, it came to my attention that this doesn't work on a TRX4 G500 square, 4x4 four four square. It's the power button. That mounts underneath so you could you can cycle power your thing without taking the body off well you know i thought that was cool i was kind of bitchy about the whole gotta take the clips off so i ordered this thing and then like a week later i was reading a thing that says oh yeah this doesn't fit your car and it's like well well that's great so that's kind of a bummer you know someone said oh you can modify it we'll see you know i know i know a guy that this would fit his for sure you know, these better work. If not, I'll be upset. Um, I think it's crazy is this thing runs pretty good, but I think these tires are a little bit bigger. Let's uh, let's take it off the old stand here. Oh yeah, they're a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna get a little bit of a boost on ground clearance, which is cool. Let me zoom in on this. I don't know if I can even kind of fudge one of these together real quick. I mean, just to see. Just rocks tire. Super Swamper rocks tire. That's funny. What kind of tire you got? Rocks tire. And uh, in case you're wondering, these... This whole thing, all these parts delivered from China. Well, I'm not gonna say I came from China, but a place similar to China. I got, whoops, I got for like less than uh, these rims cost on Amazon. <laughs> and it's the same company in China. What am I seeing wrong here? Is it kind of. I guess it just goes like that, huh? And I got this line. Anyways, so that's. The... I guess it's like that. I thought they would kind of snap together more. I guess when you put the, put the hardware in, that's when they really seat up. Anyways, let me see if I can get this kind of tipped. Oh, that's my look. How'd I do? How did I do? Is that in the frame? I can't tell. You know, because I was looking, you know, I got these one, two, three, four, five. Well, one, two, three, four, five, and a six, and a little more. But it's the double, the double spiky thing, the silver and the black. So I was like kind of trying to keep the original color, but also trying to, you know, put an aggressive off-road tire on, which I think is gonna look pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. So yeah. That's that. I'm excited. Get this up here a little closer. I mean, they're obviously not set in. That's them. Eight minutes, 52 seconds. What could I? Uh, uh, I hate to do it, but I could go run and grab a scale real quick and we could weigh these. If people want to know. I just feel like that's a, a waste of my my effort. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that. But uh, they're pretty heavy, so we'll see. I mean, if I gotta add weights, I can. The way they're hollow inside, there's and they're all metal. There's no plastic on any of this. It's all all metal. And I don't think it's aluminum either. So lots of little screws. You know, I watched some reviews on these rims and people were like oh i had bad paint in mine so you know i'm gonna have to go through and check all the holes look everything someone said you know run a screw in and out of those little holes there i don't know i mean the internet gets me worked up sometimes more than i need to be but whatever so yeah that's it's all in jorah 
I went with Endura. Mainly because uh, this isn't a real car. It's a toy, and I don't really care. You know? I'm sure there's better, but yeah, give me a break, dude. I'm not going to put $100 into a toy. Like, it's not happening. I already got the toy. The toy works. This is just like upgraded. But what this actually was, was my reaction to, I didn't think these tires were going to work. That was, this is, that's what all this is like, oh, I got to get, get new tires. Well, it turns out these tires work pretty good in my application. They're not good mud tires. These are not good mud tires, but they're good. I don't ride the mud. So I guess I basically have two sets of tires and these may not even end up being as good as those tires, to be honest with you. Like, I, well, I don't even know. I mean, these aren't, I'm not dissatisfied with these OEM tires. So we'll see. You know, I'll run both. All right. What's that? Just waiting on a few more packages. Thanks. 2021. Jeez, what a year. <laughs> We're 10 days in. Stay safe.